channel. Today we are here with another real-time home workout. One of my favorite workouts of all time, a 15 minute fat burner. And today we'll be focusing on thighs and cardio. But my special guest here, I'm here with my own Pilates instructor. This is Simone. She is the founder of the Loft Pilates and Bar. And like I said in our first video where we did core, whenever I'm doing her workout classes, I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna incorporate this exercise into my next real-time workout. But instead I thought I would bring you guys into the class. So if you're stuck at home right now or if your baby is crying and you can only do a workout at home, here you are, you're in my Pilates workout <laughs> class with my Pilates We've instructor, Simone. So what's today gonna feel like? What's the goal of today? Burn the absolute life out of the legs, get the heart rate up, smash it out in 15 minutes so you've kind of ticked every box in your workout that you need in 15 minutes. So it's whole body, body weight only, so you don't need any toys or props for this workout. How much space do they need? Only like a mat's worth of space. That's all we're gonna stick to here. So if you've got a mat, grab it. Otherwise, you're more than welcome to train on the grass, yep. wherever. 15 minutes, fat burner? Yeah. Let's do it. Can I also preface, I have no idea what we're doing, so hopefully I can follow along and hopefully I don't die. It's gonna be a lot. So we're gonna start the back edge of the, mat, of the mat. Heels on the mat, toes slightly turned off. Roll the shoulders back and down and start to activate your core. So ribs are sliding down, hips drawing up. Gentle lift of pelvic floor. We're starting with a squat. Inhale, sit down nice and low, reach the arms up in line with the ears. Then press into the heels, drive through and come up. Inhale, sit back. Exhale, drive up. Inhale, sit back. So squats are obviously designed to work the quads, the glutes, but I want you to think about opening up the hip joints, the knee joints by pressing the knees over the toes and that will open up the ankle joints as well. We've got four more here. Drive up, three more. Then we're gonna go double time. Two more. Last one, a little bit faster off we go. Inhale, sit back, drive up. Everyone always asks how often I train abs and that's the thing, like I hardly do any just ab workouts. It's all about in engaging the abs in every right. exercise. So even in this one, engaging the core, this can be a core workout. <laughs> totally, everything. You get a better workout from just engaging your core walking down the street. 100%, even you know? when I'm editing, I'm like, oh, engage yeah. the core. <laughs> <laughs> core engaged, four more here, three, Two, lower all the way down, press the palms together, bottom range pulse all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, halfway up. I want you to press down and out with your heels. So you're already feeling your sit bones light up, or the muscles around your sit bones light up, the muscles around the legs. I feel this already. Five, <laughs> four, I'm gonna die. Three, two, come halfway up, reach the hands forward, twist to the right, and center, twist to the left. And center, exhale as you twist. It's like you're wringing your waist out like a wet towel. Again, core connection, four, three, Two, drive up to straight, second set, exhale, drive up, sit back, drive up. You're exhaling as you're pressing up, pressing the hips forward and underneath your shoulders. Pressing down and out with the heels like you could tear the mat in half underneath you. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four more here, four, four, three, two, Last one, drive up, sit back down, press the palms together, pulse, pulse all the way down, halfway up. Keeping Ooh, spine length and core engaged. <laughs> and checking the back's not arching in this one. So scooping through the belly, four, three, two, halfway up, hold, twist four times. Exhale, twist for four, and center for three, for two, for one, come to center cup all the way up. Shaking Jimmy those legs out. Already feeling the fire, yeah. Can you? Is it just me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, well lit. Ready? Roll down, chin to chest. Ripple down through the spine. Come to four point kneeling now. We're gonna just set the shoulder stabilizers, warm them up. Roll the shoulders back and down. Engage your core. Scoop through your belly and tuck the pads of your toes onto the mat. Exhale, lift the knees and lower. You wanna push the mat down and away from you. Feeling this activation in your core and the shoulder stabilizers. It's gonna prep us for our next cardio set. How are you gonna talk through this? <laughs> <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> I might need it. This is one of my favorite core exercises. It's the best. Yeah, you should feel this in your tummy muscles, not so much your legs. Lift up and stay. Draw the hands towards the feet, the feet towards the hands. You're gonna feel the body start to shake. <sighs> Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, eight counts. Seven, six, five, 
four, three, step your feet out wide, come back into your squat. So walk your hands back, come into your squat, drive all the way up to stand and then come back down. We're gonna bear crawl forward just to that bear pose. So bend the knees, they're underneath, the hips are in line with them, then run back. Heels down, drive up. Let's add on, running out to plank and hold, run back, drive through the heels, come all the way up, run forward, hold, run back, squat, drive up, beautiful. Three more here like this. When you crawl forward, imagine you've got a tray of drinks on your back, so you're crawling forward really smoothly, challenging the core to stabilize the spine. Let's go full time, 30 seconds starting now. Off we go, run out, run back, releve at the top. Yeah, adding that rise for more challenge, nice. This is also good if you live in an apartment and you can't jump yeah. and make noise. <laughs> it's a nice quiet burpee. Yeah, it's a good modification for a burpee as well. You've got two more here. Drive up, last one. Drive all the way up, beautiful. All right, we're gonna come into a 90-90 lunge now. So step the right foot forward. Let's do eight lunges on the right leg. Scoop through the belly, lower and lift for eight, seven. So in a lunge, you wanna check that you've got 90, bend, 90 degree bend in each knee joint. So you're not collapsing too far forward or too far back. Two and one step change. Right leg back for eight. Seven, always think about ling lengthening and lifting as you lower. Four more here. Three, I'm gonna go into reverse lunges. So step the right foot forward, then step back and up. Step back. You wanna drive through your front heel to come up, making sure that this isn't just quads working, that your glutes are firing. Eight, seven. Six, five, four more here. Then we're gonna hit the mat, get into some glutes and abs. Last one. Step your feet out wide at the top of the mat, step the hands back onto the mat, and then come all the way down. We're lying up down on our back. Take your feet in line with your hip sockets. Place your hands on the mat and we're getting into hip lifts. Inhale, prepare, exhale, lift your hips up into bridge, then tap the hips back down. Exhale, lift up and down. I want you to think about reaching your knees forward over the toes and the top of your head back. So you're always thinking to lengthen through the body and that will help not flare the ribs into that archy shape. I used to always hit. accidentally splay my legs out. Yeah. I feel like that's what a lot of people do and think about kind of drawing them together parallel. Yeah. That's what really ignites my entire leg. Totally. Let's go double time. Eight, tap, seven, six, Five, four more here, four. Keeping the core engaged. Two, drive your hips up, stay. Take your hands onto your pelvis. So heels of hands on hip bones, fingertips on pubic bone. Make a reference triangle where the hips are even. Alternate heel rise. So lift the left heel up, then the right, then the left, then the right. As you switch through the heels, your pelvis is gonna wanna do the salsa. So I want you to squeeze your butt cheeks together, making sure that the pelvis doesn't move. Eight more here, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, rise up onto both toes, top range, pulse, pulsing the hips up. If with the heels up, this goes into your lower back, I want you to pop your heels back down. If you feel any activation in your low back, your glutes might have just switched off, so just lower down, reset when you need to. We're gonna stay on the toes now, hands to the mat, and tap and lift the hips for eight. Lift, so we're keeping the heels lifted, tapping, lift the hips. Five, four more here for four, for three, for two, drive the hips up, stay, top range, pulse, pulse. This just shows pulse. you, you don't need a heavy bar at the gym. Like just yeah, alternate right. your legs, play with the angles. Totally. And like my glutes are on fire. Yeah. <laughs> I love it though. You can get such a good workout in just with your body weight. Totally, heel rise, alternating, switch, switch, switch. And breathing through it, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Otherwise, just make sure you're breathing. It's better than not breathing, right? <laughs> Eight top range pulses, both heels up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hips come down, hold. Place your hands on your thighs, coming into ab prep. Inhale, prepare, exhale, scoop up. Ab curl all the way up. Inhale, roll back down. Exhale, ab curl up. If you need more challenge, bring your legs to tabletop. Start with the knees at the, sorry, the hands at the knees, and then you're reaching for the ankles. 
and roll. And roll. When you're ready to add on, we're gonna stretch the right leg out. Stretch the right leg out as you ab curl, and then roll down. Exhale, ab curl. Stretch, and roll back down. We've got two more like this. Then we're gonna make those legs a little bit faster. Ready, start to switch, 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 and we're staying in that ab curl. Curl for two. If you need neck support, just take your hands to the back of your head, that's fine. We've got eight, seven, making sure you're lengthening lumbar spine into the mat. Five, you're gonna need it for the next one, for four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees into your chest, roll back onto your shoulder blades and then roll up to your sit bones. Then again, round your back, roll back onto your shoulder blades, up to your sit bones. So this is rolling like a ball, another super traditional Pilates exercise. You only wanna roll back onto your shoulder blades and you need to round through your lower back. If you're feeling a clunk in the mat, I want you to go back to single leg stretch in this one and then we'll give you an option for the reverse burpees that are coming up later. Oh, I just gave away the surprise. Roll <laughs> back. We've Maybe got... they don't know what it is. Yeah, <laughs> three more here. And up, round your body, two and up. Last one. Come all the way up, come back to four point kneeling. And then upright kneeling, step your right foot forward. All right, from here, we're gonna get into a little bit of glute work. This burns, can I say? Yeah. I know this one. This one's a lot. <laughs> and we're gonna throw in a few, yeah, a bit of a cardio set in between as well, it's a lot. Ready, engage your core, hinge your body forward. You're gonna drive your right heel into the mat, reach the hands forward and head butt forward, and then float back down. Exhale, reaching forward and float back down. Now you've got the option to just leave the top of the back foot on the mat. But if you'd like a little more challenge, you can start to float it off head butt. Whatever is sitting in front of you, your TV screen, and use the exhale to drive. So you're feeling your right glute activate for this one. So the supporting leg is a little bit bent still? Yeah, it stays bent for this set, but you don't want to the knee to roll in. That's the main one. We're gonna pick up the pace now. So you drive straight up, stabilize, float back down, drive straight back up, float back down. That's it, nice and quick. Whew. Using that exhale breath. This is where it starts to burn. <laughs> and like, here comes the fire. Yeah, keep pushing that Push. right knee out, out to the right. That's it, it's gonna wanna collapse in. Pull your right hip back as you work. We've got four, three, Two, drive up and hold this next one. Ooh. Hold, here we go. Scissor sweep the arms. I hate this, I hate <laughs> this. This is so full on. I hate myself when we do this. No, I like. love it, I love it. <laughs> Keep scissor sweeping, ideally getting that shoulder open as you sweep the arms forward. So arm up in line with the ear. Eight more counts, seven, six, five, for 15 seconds jumping lunges, ready? Oh, Back you're you kidding me. Floor. Give it a shake, we're going for it. Get down low, engage your core, ready, off we go. We've got, switch. Oh, my switch. right leg. I know, it's like jelly. Woo, <laughs> baby. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way down, shake it out. Ah, all right. Fire. <laughs> we're not quite done with it yet. Lie down on your backs. This is the grand finale for the right butt cheek for maybe the rest of the week. Lie down on your back, place your hands on the mat. Engage your core, drive your hips up, stay. Squeeze, wrap, tighten, wrap, right butt cheek. Reach your left leg up to the ceiling and hold. Ready, tap and lift those hips off we go. Tap down, drive up, tap, drive. <sighs> Reach the toes to the ceiling. Four more here till we paintbrush. Three, two, drive your hips up, stay. Flex the foot as you reach it forward, then kick it up. Flex the foot, keeping the pelvis still and stable. It's so hard not to sink down, you know? Right. Keeping the hips lifted, reach the foot up and hold eight top range pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, four, lift and lowers. Off we go all the way down and up with the hips for three. Lift, two, lift, and one, lift. Come back down, hug your knees into your chest. Oh. Bury your nose into your knees, maybe shake that leg out. We're going into reverse burpees, just 30 seconds here. Ready, roll back onto the shoulder blades. Come all the way up, step the feet wide, and jump. Roll, and jump. I told you it was Do you hold on to knees? <laughs> Do you hold say? on to knees on the roll? Yeah. Just maintaining that rounding in your spine. A modified version. 
You can either go into the burpees that we did before, just rolling, running forward from a squat in your plank. I'll show you that one. So you squat, run back out, run back in, maybe out a jump. Run back out, run back in. We've got two more here, roll. Oh, my right leg. <laughs> and last one. Come all the way up and jump. Okay, left foot forward, right foot back. I find this so intense. It's hard, right? Fingertips on the floor, exhale, drive forward and come back down. Come back down. If you're ready, float that back leg off. Make sure you're feeling the activation in the glute. If it goes into the front of the thigh or the hip flexor, it usually means the knee's turning in, the hip swinging out. So just keep pulling that left hip back. You're trying to head butt forward. Modification, leave that back knee down, or back foot down, I should say, and then drive through that left heel. It's all about heel drive, hip recruitment, left butt cheek. Now we're gonna add some pace. Drive up, slowly back down. Exhale, drive up, back down. Keep pulling left hip back. Imagining your hips had headlights. They'd both be shining straight down to the top edge of your mat. So they're nice and square. We've got four, three, for two. Last one, hold. I Drive can up. never hold. And switch. switch, I know it's <sighs> party time when we get to this point. Get down low in that supporting leg. Or just low enough if you're me. <laughs> now I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> Beautiful, four more here, four, three, Two and one, come all the way up. Shake and shimmy the legs out, we're nearly there. Rolling down, we've got that last set of hip lifts on the left. Press your hands into the mat. Inhale, prepare, exhale, drive the hips up. Squeeze your left butt cheek, shoot your right leg to the ceiling and hold. Tap and lift those hips. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four more here. Two, drive those hips up, stay paintbrush, stretch the legs out and float it up. Stretch that leg out, float it up. Two more and up. Last one, reach it up and stay. Top range pulse, eight pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, tap and lift. We've got down, drive up for three, drive up for two, Drive the hips up, stay. Keep that leg extended to the ceiling, lower the hips down. Grab your calf. If you can't grab your calf, grab your hamstring. We did this in the last video. Inhale, prepare, exhale, ab curl, hold, and stretch the other leg out. This time we're gonna use it more as a stretch. Switch, pulse, switch, pulse. So remember your hamstrings are pretty fired now, so don't pull too hard into that stretch. Just finishing with a little ab endurance and a nice dynamic hamstring stretch for seven. That's what I like about Pilates. I feel like after the workout, I feel really loose and limber. Yeah, right. Whereas other workouts, you wake up the next morning and you're kind of stiff. Totally. Last one. And come all the way down. Oh, hey. Oh, that was good. We did it. Are we done? Yeah, we're oh, done. Man. I Seriously. feel like everything's done. Yeah, and I after feel like that. I can do pretty heavy glutes, like at the gym with a bar. Yeah. And that kills me. <laughs> like, we are sweating and we're pretty fit. Yeah, so we're fit people, but that'll do the trick every time, I feel like. You can get an intense workout in, in your own home, in 15 minutes. Legs are burning, whole body is burning, yeah. face is sweating. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, because it really supports my channel. It also helps me know what kind of videos you guys like to see. And thank you again, the beautiful Simone, for taking us through that class. It was so <laughs> good. We need to go get a big nourish bowl or something yeah, now. Yeah, 100%. And some water. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys.